Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Cassandra. I was asked recently how you're supposed to get into grasshopper pose. So I figured I would just do a really quick and simple tutorial for you guys to show you how I get into this arm balance. This arm balance looks quite tricky. Um, it's a little bit hard to understand what the limbs are supposed to do. So I'll try to break it down as simply as I can. I like to start this pose standing up. So if you're standing up, you wanna have your hands at your heart and then bend a little bit as if you're coming into your chair pose. And as if you were doing standing pigeon, if you lean on your left leg, you wanna pick up your right knee and you're just gonna cross your right ankle over the top of your left thigh. So the right foot definitely needs to be flexed because this is where your arm is going to go. So as you flex that foot, try to sink the hips down a little bit lower. So my hips are moving back and my chest is moving forward. Now from here, you'll need to come into a bit of a twist because we're trying to bring our right arm to the inside or to the sole of that right foot. So as you twist over to the left, see if you can place that sole of the foot as high up pretty much the upper arm as you can. So I find about midway feels the best and then we can readjust once we're down there. Now once you're in this little balancing twist shape, you need to bring your hands down to the floor. So the hands are about roughly shoulder width distance apart, fingertips are spreading wide, and lean a little bit more into your left arm and left hand. You need to have a strong chaturanga in order to be able to do this arm balance because basically that's exactly what you're doing with your arms. Start to rock more weight onto your left palm Keep the elbows bent and hugging in towards each other. You're gonna feel the obliques really start to fire up in this pose. And as you push your foot into the arm, feel the arm press back against it. And then maybe you'll pick up the left toes off the floor. So at first the heel can stay in, and then maybe you extend that left leg out to the side and you can kind of look at it. So I'm trying to reach the crown of my head forward. I'm keeping the elbows bent and to come back out, bend the knee foot back to the mat, see if you can come back into that little twist. And then you're lifting up and unwinding. So we'll try to go do it on the other side. Might be a little bit easier for you to see. So start hands at the heart, bend the knees, drop the hips. This time you're gonna cross your left ankle over the top of your right knee. Remember that foot is flexed. Sink the hips down and back, chest leans forward towards the floor. So you're almost parallel to the ground. Move into your twist, left, upper arm to the inside, whoops, to the inside of your left foot. Once you have this, bend your supporting leg even more until you can place both palms down to the mat. Fingertips spreading wide. Bend into your right elbow and see how I'm kind of rocking my weight over onto my right hand because you want to start to take some of the pressure off of your right leg. So keep bending and leaning into that right arm Keep your gaze forward instead of back and down. And as you bend your elbows, maybe the right toes will start to lift off of the mat as you bring your heel in close to the glutes, or you can extend the leg out to the side. So from that leg out to the side, keep pushing down into the palms, bend the knee, foot comes back down, and we lift back up pretty much the same way that we went into it. So a couple things to note in this grasshopper pose, you need to have quite a bit of spinal rotation in order to be able to place your palms on the ground beside the foot. And you also need a really strong chaturanga. So if grasshopper is not quite accessible to you, there are a few things that we can work on. It might be because your shoulders are not yet strong enough or you need to engage your core a little more, or it could just be that you have some limitations in your hip flexibility because we do need to be able to have open hips in order to be able to get our hands on the ground from that standing pigeon pose. So first thing I would recommend for you guys to do is to start getting comfortable with your rock the cradle or some people call this seated pigeon pose. It's the exact same shape you're trying to get with your legs. So if I'm sitting and I have my arms back behind me with the feet flat on the mat, I would just cross my right ankle over the top of the left knee and then see how far you can actually bend that left knee and bring the heel in close towards you. So we want to end up having our foot pretty close towards our chest and then just rocking it back and forth or side to side is a really nice way to gradually start to open up your hip. So remember this is basically the exact same shape you would be taking in your grasshopper pose. We'd be bringing the right arm 
to the right foot and then going into it. So definitely practice this. Other poses that will be really beneficial for you to work on if grasshopper is not quite accessible yet is your plank to chaturanga. So plank pose, you have your shoulders directly over the tops of your wrists, tailbone is reaching to the heels, lower belly is drawing in, and you need to think of squeezing as if you're hugging on a big beach ball in between the upper arms. So really engaging through the pectorals. Drawing the lower belly into the low back as opposed to dumping the stomach down to the mat is what we want to work on. So this is a great way to deepen your core strength. And then moving to chaturanga, if you lean forward to the tips of your toes, you want to bend the elbows and be able to hover halfway. So my biceps are pretty much parallel to the ground. Now, chaturanga is a hard one to hold for a few breaths, but the more you can start to practice going from your plank pose to your chaturanga, the easier it will be for you to move into arm balance poses of any kind, whether it's grasshopper, eight angle, crow, doesn't really matter. You need a pretty strong chaturanga. So I hope you guys find this helpful. If you have any other questions about grasshopper or really if there's any other arm balance pose you'd like a tutorial on, please let me know down in the comments and I'd be happy to create one for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure you subscribe. I put out new classes on my channel every single Thursday. Thanks guys, have a great day.